teamwork, people's work at its finest. <laughs> <laughs> Pack him up, let's go home. <laughs> Desert party done. <laughs> Fuck. What up, Rion? <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Delos, we had an amazing camping trip in the Namibian desert, took advantage of the fancy campsites, saw some wildlife and fixed engine problems in the middle of nowhere. We just came back to Walrus Bay from our four days camping mission in the Namibian desert and immediately started to get Delos ready for the big passage to St. Helena. How's it going out here? It's another beautiful day in Namibia. Yeah, so we're just doing the last things we got to do before heading out across an ocean. We're topping up the diesel, fill up the propane, we got to get veggies. And then the only thing that's really holding us up is we ruined our our trusty Sony. After three years of hardcore use, it failed. Anyways. Oh, it's like some onions or something on the lens. Great. Wow, look at all the. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just got stuck in the lens. And so we're, we had to order a new one of those. They don't even have them in Africa, so we had to order one from the US. And it's in Windhoek right now. So as soon as it clears customs, we'll get that, we'll get veggies, and we'll be off. What's going on with the generator? You know, I was running it last night. I was trying to make bread, and uh, it started throwing a raw water alarm, which means that the impeller that sucks cooling water from the ocean to cool off the engine is not getting water, or at least the engine thinks it's not. So it runs for about eight seconds and shuts off. So I've got to troubleshoot that. I, the first thing is I gotta inspect the impeller. Yep, that's exactly what they're gonna say. Is the impeller okay? Yeah. So I just got the, the generator apart. I got the raw water pump off, and after 20 hours of running, for some reason, look at this. That's the impeller. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one, two, three, four, five blades missing. Oh, fuck, it was the impeller. After 20 hours, bro. Because normally so, these things last like. It should last four, five, 500, 500 hours. So there's the heat exchanger. And I suspect that the broken off bits are in there. So we've got to get that off. I'll try and clean those out. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. I hope that's all of them. I don't see any others. It's hard to say why the impeller failed so soon. Water was flowing okay. We could have sucked something into the water intake. This has actually happened to us before with a massive jellyfish. Or maybe the impeller was dry for too long sitting in the storeroom before we bought it. But only time will tell if it happens again. After fixing the generator, it was time to focus on the sourdough again. Uh, voila! Looks pretty good for a first attempt. Had plenty of time to rest. Getting chills over here. Oh. <laughs> mm. You like? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's famous sourdough. While Brian and I were working on Delos and enjoying some fresh sourdough bread. Lisa and Liz had the dirty task of washing the crew's laundry. 
It had been six weeks since anything was washed, so I was pretty happy with the situation. Guys are destroying my house right now. <laughs> <laughs> are you annoyed? No, it's fine. Anything for the Delos crew. Huh? <laughs> Any time, just not every time. He says with pleasure. It's like any time, just not every time. There is one load done, another one in the dryer. This is all we need to do. This is all left, all left, all left. Why are you looking so dis? I know, but you think it, I have to do Brady's dirty panties. Brady's onesie. Um, it has a matter of dubious stains in areas A, B and C and D. It's uh, half past ten right now. We can't go to the boat tonight. Matthew is so kind to let us stay here to finish uh, two more loads of uh, the washing and the dryer and tomorrow morning we can finish Another two or three loads. Lisa was starting, so she stayed up till two in the morning. I went to bed at half twelve. I wanted to stay at work till two, but I was so tired and grumpy. I was getting grumpy. Staring at a computer screen, doing people's day laundry since nine in the morning. And believe that we are done. That was a teamwork. Teamwork. A high five. A uh, high five! Well, we're still here at Matthew's house and Elizabeth is taking a bath right now. Oh, look at you! You're having a bath, drinking beer, reading your Kindle. I mean, this is so good. I, I, I was laying back and I just said to myself, you will remember this moment. So good. All right then. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank I'm you. I'm going back to work. I mean, like. I mean, if you do come work. back, you swing gym mm -hmm. this way. I mean, yeah, yeah. Have fun. Bye. 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 Oh, family, what is going on here? Oh shit. Sure. <laughs> good question. Basically. <laughs> We're so many people using the internet that it's become completely useless, useless and it just sits here. You reverted to editing again. <laughs> <laughs> We're like a plague, aren't we? We destroy internet wherever we go. Or what are you doing, Brian? Yeah, I'm just staring at the computer. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so wants to join the group. <laughs> so actually, you're waiting there. I just want to hang out and look cool, mostly. Oh, cool. really? You think you look cool? Yeah. <laughs> Aww, Capitan! Yeah, that's a typical Dallas invasion, huh? <laughs> yeah. We've moved in, Matt. How do you feel about that? He just walked into the room, looked at us, and walked away. <laughs> uh, maybe I should chase after him. Yeah. Hey, Matt! What's up? We have been moving in. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> that's okay, I'll take the yacht. <laughs> I was princess for a week on Delos. Uh, I got to enjoy several luxuries. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Brian. Sorry. My bad. Do it in your own way, Elizabeth, but do it the way that we tell you to do it. Okay? You just be you, but don't do say it. that. You just be you, boo. Okay, so I was princess for the week, and I enjoyed benefits such as Brian carrying me into the dinghy because I didn't want to get my feet wet. Um, it was inspiration taken from Mr. Brader's uh, year as princess. And now it's time to... Pick a new winner. He must have done more things for you than that. No, yeah. because I was. So I remember calling you your grace multiple times. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even say anything about your princess party. Your Look at this. Oh yeah, we had yeah. a princess, princess party, party to celebrate the end of my no, uh, my reign. Queen. Princess and peasants, so we were all pirate princesses. I guess when you are living on a boat and you see the same people every single day, you get pretty creative with entertainment. And dressing up for a good party is definitely one of the Dallas specialties. Karen looks like a Swedish gypsy.
you ready? Yes. I guess. Be a I think I'm gonna win for sure. <laughs> okay. Is it? Brady. She's yeah. Brady. She's yeah. Brady. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm definitely Brandon. gonna win. You will be the one. Yeah, no, okay. I think it's gonna be you. Me? Oh, I yeah. have a feeling it's gonna be Lisa as well. Right. I don't know how. I'm going with me. Yeah, I'm gonna say Kaza. I think it's Lisa. Yeah. I'm gonna say Kaza as well. She's got this smile on her face. I know, it's kind of freaking me out. You sound like a big queen. Yeah. She's like, pick a name now! Wait, no. Brady didn't say it. What? Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. The winner is. It's not. Blue's Clue. Damn it! Wow. Kaza. Oi. It's not. Mr. Brady, read it out. Who is it? Hey. Hold on. Right, princess. The princess. No, I was no. out first. The princess no. of the week is Austria. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Austria! Thank you very much. It's gonna be a tough week. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a Cheers. Cheers. Princess Austria. Whoa, bro. We're gonna take this defender out to the dunes. I think this is our last party in Africa, too. Probably. Yeah. Probably. It's time to go. Are you ready for Delos Burn? Yes, I am. I like your costume setup. Well, comfy. Comfy one suit, peace, whatever it is. <laughs> nice. Yes. It's our last party in Africa. I know. How, how do you crazy feel about that? that? It feels really sad, but also very exciting. <laughs> I'm ready to go sailing for sure. I think we all are. So. It's time. Oh, Almost! <laughs> I'm to pause the camera on camera action. <laughs> of course, we couldn't say goodbye to Africa without a big bash. So we headed into the untouched world of sand for our own version of Africa Burn. Delos Burn, surrounded by the Namibian dunes. Hello, dreamer. You've been dreaming for so long Now you're waking And you're still waiting for the sun To come along All your fantasies point to death Things you can't see You're caging yourself when you want to be free Tell me what do you want And what do you need to see Your dreams are your just past June 7 and surrounded by one of the most extreme versions of nature that I've ever seen. It's such an interesting balance between the darkness and the light and all the sand is just completely untouched. There's not one track in it. <laughs> it's just us. It's really cool, it's super special. And I think that this is the perfect place to make our last party in Africa. Saying goodbye in style. This is a really nice spot. It's my princess party! Yahoo! Yeah! I just love how you're doing it. I'm trying to get it. Oh, I know. I can't actually see it. I love you. Thanks so much. You're awesome. Just still waiting for the sun to come 
<laughs> Pack him up, let's go home. <laughs> Desert party done. <laughs> Fuck. What up, Rion? <laughs> <laughs> This is what we've been waiting for, because we destroyed our main 4K camera. See what we got here. Oh! There it is, a brand new Sony. Oh, it's so clean. You. Back in business now. Um, we're leaving tomorrow, and our good friend Matt has been absolutely awesome to us he's been really cool taking us places and just i don't know let us use the shower and eat his food and pretty much everything so we have done him his own special bottle of whiskey mm. it's called matt's aphrodisiac so we went hardcore with the design this year we had an illustration done up and then we had lisa's prowess uh, we wrote a little poem to go with it for you our friend we give you this room for fun in the punis and maybe up the bum but we didn't do rum, we did whiskey, so... What's going on right here? We've made a little special piece of our sandal from Matt for hooking us up with so many cool things while we were here. We've all written a little phrase from our time here. I say, yo Matt, never mind. <laughs> oh, nice one, Brian. <laughs> Get her done, Mr. Brady. See you out there, Kazatron. What a bubble bath mate. Your Highness, Lisa, <laughs> get your hand out of my pants, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, that's not what it says. Thank you for being you. You have the biggest heart. Oh, my. That's why I threw a heart. <laughs> From us to you, Matthew, thank you for everything. And we love you lots, and you'll always be part of the Dallas family. But we will <laughs> use your cigarettes. <laughs> Matt and Laura. Thank you so, so much for showing us the Namibian culture and letting us invade your life, your cars, and your house while we were here. You'll probably want to run that washing machine a few times to get the Delo Sailor stink out of it. For you, our friend, we gift you this rum for finding the Punis and maybe up the bum. <laughs> and it's actually a whiskey. We fucked up on that side. <laughs> that is so cool. Paul, you're such a silly little man-child. Thanks so much to you and Amy. You guys really showed us a good time. Hopefully one day you'll sell that van, buy a sailboat, and meet us out there. But until then, keep living, laughing, and loving. Namibia was our last stop in Africa, and meeting these amazing people really topped off our few years around this continent. Saying see you later is always tough. Cheers, Tedos. <laughs> Love you all. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> what? What are you doing? I'm cooking. Why do you have a scuba mask on your face? Because it's fashion. Uh, uh, what is this one? Kartoffelpuffer. Oder Reiberdatsche. Je nachdem, in welchem Land der man ist, sagt man Reiberdatsche oder Kartoffelpuffer. Der Unterschied eigentlich zwischen Kartoffelpuffer und Reiberdatsche ist folgender dass man in Kartoffelpuffer Zwiebel eingibt, das heißt man isst sie nur salzig, ähm, also eigentlich immer nur mit Speck und Reibertatschi isst man mit äh, Opfimus, also das heißt man kann Reibertatschi auch süß essen, weil da ist keine Zwiebel drin. Was? I speak three languages poorly and I didn't understand that at all. Mm. I smell the smells. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's good. Brady, yeah. Lisa made potato latkes. Oh, uh, what? Do we have applesauce and sour cream? No, but no. it's good. We have yep. applesauce. Brian, we cannot take you anywhere. Look at what happened, man. That's what you get for putting so much sauce on your food. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with the sauce. Slippery. It's slippery, man. Yeah, exactly. It's sliding if you, over the plate. If you ever see Brian wearing You're the same t-shirt the... every single day, <laughs> this is the reason the why. Because there's no point in giving him new and clean I shirts. Put this shirt on today. Shame. I was expecting to get four days out of this. Lick that sauce <laughs> off of there, bro. I That's what you smelled you today, and you smelled really good. I know. I even showered like yesterday. <laughs> 
Okay. Brian, look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. I catch up. Mate! Pack. You're licking mayo from your t shirt. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Rock bottom, bro. I've made it. I've made it in life. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. It's a really calm morning. I just woke up and we're setting sail today, which is awesome. So we're just going to go in and uh, I guess try to check it out and do some last things. But I think after lunch, the plan is to set sail. The wind is supposed to be really good. It's actually looking really good for us. Uh, right now there's kind of a, a weird low pressure system that's sitting like just west of Cape Town. Um, but that high, there's a South Atlantic high that sits kind of at the very bottom of the South Atlantic and it's actually going to fill in really, really good over the next couple of days. That's pretty much us up here in Walvis Bay, that's St. Helena. If you look at over the next kind of 24 hours, there's not much going on here. This is just kind of... Blank and light and blue just means really no wind But by Wednesday morning it starts to fill in and that's like 10 knots or so 10 to 15 and then if we look at the bigger picture, so that's good We look at the bigger picture of the South Atlantic high, which is this guy here. It's spinning counterclockwise There's a weird little low here, but there's this high kind of moves from west to east. It's going to take over that low and it's just gonna fill in. So you see that low disappear. This high is just spinning really nice. And then you start to see all these winds fill in. And that'll probably actually disappear, this little section. All of that will probably fill with wind. And then we'll get probably 20 knots just after the beam. And this guy just fills in all this good wind. I am, I don't know, like I always feel like that. Like it's sad to leave and stuff, but now I feel so ready, like just so excited to kind of start going and getting to St. Helena. We did some research about Ascension and just being on Ocean Passage. I, I don't know. Right now I feel like, oh, I really need it. <laughs> so it's going to be awesome. So he's going to have some breakfast and head in, check out, and then we're going. I think everybody's really excited as well. It's awesome. Time to leave Africa. For me, Africa was always a place way beyond the horizon. A place so foreign and so far away. It seems like yesterday we were sailing for Richards Bay, not knowing what to expect and not knowing anything about the continent we were about to sail into. I don't know what I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what can we see on our side, Brady? Africa, motherfucker. <laughs> no idea what happens next. <laughs> Africa is the fourth continent we've sailed Dallas to. And one of the big reasons why this part of the world has been such a special place for me, it really felt like our home base, on and off for almost a year now. After traveling from one place to another for so many years, it's been incredible to get to know a place, slow down, breathe, and things got familiar. And this was exactly what I needed to get the excitement back to set sail again. Africa isn't somewhere that I ever expected to travel to. The most amazing part for me was getting so close to all the incredible wildlife we saw while sailing up the skeleton coast. It's a pretty good feeling to know that all of these animals still have a safe place in this crazy world. Africa has shown me how incredibly beautiful and diverse our planet Earth can be. This continent shares mountains, sand dunes, beaches and everything in between. Africa has blown my mind in the most positive way I could have ever imagined. To me what really makes a place special is the people. The people that welcome you to the land, show you what it feels like to live in this amazing place, to be African. The experiences we had and the friends we met while in the motherland will always have a huge place in my heart. Good morning, Mr. Brady. How did you feel about your last day in Africa? It's time. I'm really excited. Yeah? Yeah, leave internet behind and go sailing. What are you finishing off uh, preparing this morning? Oh, uh, leaving things at the last minute, like telling our family our sat phone emails. 
Right. So that oh, yeah. can keep in touch with us. And then after that, shut the computer down. I'm looking forward to that. Man, the internet. I don't know what she's on about either. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Unplugging. So don't need that no more. Could be, could be a while before we use the internet again. Okay. Is it, is it change? What's going on, Captain? Filling out our departure cards, which is better to do it here than at the little office where they have no pins. Mm. And then we go. Finished. And then we're off. Good job, Elizabeth. You done good. We're officially illegal. We've got our checkout stamp from Luderitz. Isn't that convenient? On the same page as our Brazilian visa. Cool. <laughs> nice. You're getting it done, huh? Yeah. It feels really good, man. We'll be out of here. We'll leave the anchorage in the next couple of hours. And then it looks like the wind will come up. St. Helena, 1,200 miles away. Nice. Exciting. All right. Another easy checkout. Got the paperwork. So that was it. Congratulations, guys. We're ready to go to St. Helena. Oh, yeah. Hey, Matt. I want to have it. I don't agree with that. Matt. No. I'm trying to tell you something. Stop speaking. Matt, we're going to miss you. Oh. What are you going to do without us? Go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to miss us? Of course I'm going to miss you guys. Uh, are you really? Yeah. I'll wait, I'll, wait till, I'll wait till Delos gets to the Caribbean and then I'll fly out. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Do it. That's a must. Oh, dude, that thanks for everything, bro. No problem. Come on, throw a kiss in there. Yeah, I was. Oh. Thank you so much for everything, man. Yeah, thanks for everything, man. Like when I go to the Ciao. For everything. Hopefully, I get your money. Ciao. Oh, sorry. Love you. Love you again. Don't cry. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Matt, can I have a cigarette or what? All right, Africa. It's time for us to leave your shores and sail west. We'll see you on the next lap, you beautiful continent, you. next up on Delos. So yeah, this is it. This, this is the moment. Goodbye Africa and welcome Southern Atlantic. <laughs> Delos leaves the African continent behind, set sail towards St. Helena, while the crew got really sick. Man down. Man down. Elizabeth down. England's down. That's laugh, I guess. <laughs> That's true laugh. <laughs> it was funny though, throwing fruit at them. We're doing mayo. I mean, what color have we got today, darling? We got some nice glitter blue. Glitter blue. We're gonna have to change color. I think so too. That, I, I like think that. We do a come on board. We don't want to go far. That was gonna cross far. He really has no idea. It's so awesome. It was um, princess and peasants, so we were all pirate princesses. Except for Matt, he just has a big dick on his head. Yeah. <laughs> it's an anchor. <laughs> it's an anchor. Oh yeah, sorry. But we definitely have to get our makeup done. Yeah, for sure. And a little hair, hair tutorials. I don't know. They lead it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just drawing on my face, aren't you, Brayden? I think my side looks better than her side. <laughs> you don't like it. I feel like me and Brady did a good job. Like my side. 
Ooh, Brian! <laughs> Ooh, Brady! What would you do Imagine if you were Princess of the God. Week? Uh, princess of the Week? <laughs> Can't say that on camera. <laughs> Basically, I'll get everything that I always get. Guilt free. <laughs> so you're pretty much already permanent princess. Uh, I'm a princess. <laughs> I think Matt was trying to show off and I think we're stuck. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Guys, huh? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, you're all salty. Ew. <laughs> hey, where are your Hi. parents? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck you, man. I fuck you. I need to get some gas. <laughs> it's my little brother. <laughs> Hey Brady, girl crew! Girl crew! <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag love my life! Yeah! yeah. Oh, wow, <laughs> you're even... Oh. Yeah. the girls! <laughs> Just do one nostril. There you go. Don't sneeze it out. Beauty is pain, beauty is pain, <laughs> beauty is pain, beauty is pain, okay. Oh my god, yes. How'd you feel? Pretty Brianna? Cool. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. Bra Brandy? Brianna, Brianna. Yeah. Lisa! Sleezer! I'm done. <laughs>